Hello guys, this is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a short flyer using Photoshop 2021. So before any further ado, get into Photoshop. So here are the resources I'm going to use and the test in this tutorial. So now copy that code select your color then you paste it then go to your image then import this image then go to your blending mode then you select luminosity Then reduce your opacity to 49. Now apply your layer mask. Go to your gradient tool. So here you can see that this area is white. So there is a difference between when this area is white and is transparent. Now I'm going to reduce it to transparent area so that it will enable me to blend when it is white you cannot apply the blending so here you will see a difference even with that you can see that the blending is not applied very well so what i'm going to do now i'm going to my blending option then i will select apply i mean sorry multiply so you can see the differences now Now, import this image also, then position it at the top, then leave it this way, then change the blending usher to luminosity again, then reduce your opacity to 53. Then apply your layer mask, go to your gradient tool, then and you blend it. Then select this image, then you drag it out to be in line with the second one. Then I'm going to bring this image again. Then you scale out the, the image. Reduce the top here. Then go to your filter, select your blur, Gaussian blur. Then you apply your blur. Now, Apply your layer mask, then you blend it over here. I'm going to blow it again. Go back, then this time enter 9.6. This is more better than before. Then you bring this brush, scale it out, all right, then you drag it down, okay. All right, here we are done for now. So I'm going to select it, Shift plus select, then you group it, Ctrl G. Then hold your, all right, before then, what I did is to change that one to luminosity. Then press Shift plus Ctrl plus Alt plus E on your keyboard. Then you will, the color will change like this. Then apply 
camera raw. Then click OK after you input all this number. Then you have drag it here. So you can see the outcome of it now. Then Ctrl C to copy your test. Then change the color to white. Then I'm going to copy. So here are the font. I mean the font I'm going to use. So now I'm searching on the font name. Then now Control V to paste. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Control J. Then come over here to copy your text. Then Ctrl V to paste. Here I'm going to copy the color code. Ctrl C to copy. Then select the code here and Ctrl V to paste your own code. So now you can see. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then also reduce the size of this one. Then duplicate the, the test here. Then select the test. Change the color to white. Then come over here to copy your test. Ctrl C to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now select your test tool. You can also press T on your keyboard for test 2 before then bring it to the center. Now press T on your keyboard for test 2 or you press the icon here. Then open the character spacing. All right. Now Control A to align, apply vertical alignment. Control D to deselect. Then I'm going to copy this te test again. Control C to copy. Select a test to. When you press T on your keyboard, it will give you the test tool automatically without going to the toolbar. Now scale it out to increase the font size.
All right. Then you drag it here. Then come over here to copy your text. Then control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font. I'm going to leave the font in the test description. Then you drag it up here so that it will be above the national prayer. Then come over to your test again to copy. Then control V to paste. Then change the font. Drag it up here over here. Then come over here again to copy your test. Control plus C to copy. Then T for your test to. Then change the font. Select the bold one. Then make it bold and uh, capital. Now I'm going to copy this color code. Then you paste it over here. Then copy your test again, Ctrl plus C, select your test tool by pressing T on the keyboard, then Ctrl plus V to paste, change the color to white, Then change the font to this one. Apply changes from here. Now reduce the font size. Drag it over here. Then I'm going to remove this cab so you can see the differences now. Before it was very bold. Now that I change the cab now, everything change to small letter and it look nice to read.
All right. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Come over here to copy. Then you paste the one you copy. Then change the font color. Click on this one, then you apply the color. Then drag it over here. So you can see your group and rename it. Arrange it properly so that it will be in line. Then Ctrl G for grouping. All right. Now, after all this arrangement, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl D to deselect. Then you use your arrow key to move it up. You know, I'm going to copy my test again. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then you drag it down over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then change the font color to white. Reduce the size. Then bring this icon for calendar. Reduce the size. Then go to your image, adjustment, select hue and saturation, or you can press Ctrl U on your keyboard to give you hue and saturation. Ctrl C again to copy. Now duplicate this one. Then you paste. Then apply superscript. Then increase the size. Then you shift it up by using your arrow key. Ctrl C to copy again. Select your test tool. Then paste. Now reduce the font size. All right.
Then select your rectangle tool. Then draw a line here. Remove the stroke. Then apply this color. Okay. So now group it together. Then increase the size. Then bring this icon for time. Then Ctrl plus U on your keyboard. Then you drag it to the white area. Then duplicate the test here, drag it up over here. Then now move it. Then come back to your test to copy. Ctrl C. Then you paste Ctrl V. Okay, we are done with that one. Next, now we are going to copy the location. Then bring the icon. Reduce the size. Then drag it down here. Then now you paste the one you copy. Reduce the font size. Position it over here. I'm going to change the font. Now you can see the font here is better than the first one. Then reduce the font size. Then adjust the character spacing and the space here.
okay now select then you group it so group them all all right so we are done with that So the next thing we are going to do now is to apply a blending option. So here you can see we enter 86 for the opacity, then the distance spread and the size. Then OK. So here, I'm going to open it and select the particular one I want to apply the blending option. So on the shadow, I'm not going to change the code we use first. So now I'm going to inner glow. So you apply the number you see there and the opacity. Then 80 is okay. The number you are going to enter here is FLCC00. So now what I'm doing now is to copy the layer style, then paste it on this one and paste it on the time. So that is it about the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Then remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.